This is a Stay Right Dura Jet, so the bolts are going to be 3 8 on the face. So I'm going to pop these out. And just remember that it's turned this way. It's turned at 9 o'clock. And there's nuts in the back of this housing, so you have to be careful not to lose them. So there's only four in the face. So I've got the face off right there. And so you can see, you take a little flat screwdriver, you can see that there's a o-ring right there and it's kind of flat so I've got a brand new one to replace it so we offer those in our store now I'm going to turn it around and take the back cover off which is going to be a quarter inch and the beauty of this particular uh, pump is it has a place to put a wrench in here to hold it so you can turn the impeller off and uh, what that place is, is there's a little slot right here. It's got two flat sides on the shaft back there. So there you go, 7 16 wrench. And I can stick it in here and it goes directly on the shaft and it keeps the shaft from turning so you can lock it down and turn the impeller off. You see how easy that is? Very easy to change the seal on this particular pump just because of that. And this actually looks real good. I'm gonna pull the seal off. So that shaft there, that all looks real nice. So I'm gonna take this and just a brand new seal. This is a, a, a 201 seal, PS or P201. There's all kinds of different part numbers and I sell it in a lot of different versions in my store. I offer a salt seal, one that's, uh, that works with salt. And something that you gotta do is you can easily twist this around and actually break it loose where it will not line up with the metal part in the back and when you screw it back in you actually damage it so you've got to make sure that the seal when you twist it that it locks back in and what i'm talking about is you see there's two little two little divots right here you see there's a little thing there and there and that's got two divots in it you got to make sure that those two things line up so as long as you don't twist too hard you won't unline them so it's not that hard to get out now the next thing is you just pull this around take your flat screwdriver and just reach up in there and just pop the seal out the shaft actually looks real good on this so there's not too much to do i am going to put a little bit of uh, that actually is pretty clean i'm going to put a little bit of silicone around the edge of my seal so a little bit of Silly juice right around the edge right here. It doesn't take much. Just a little tiny bit. Just enough to, it helps it slide in and it'll also lock it in and keep it from, from twisting on you. So you just rub it around. Make sure you don't get any silicone on the, the ceramic surface. So I'm just going to Push that right up in there like that with my fingers. And I'm gonna take a piece of tubing, but you can use anything that's solid that goes around the shaft to make sure it's all the way in, and it is. Take my cloth and just kind of clean up around the edge. I don't want a whole lot of extra silicone in there. Now we're gonna simply with the seal in place, everything looks good right here. We're gonna just screw this right back in. And when you're able to hold that shaft in the back, of course, this one's not rusty. If it was rusty, it wouldn't have been that easy to get off, but you still could have got it off. The problem is holding the shaft a lot of times. So I'm gonna pull that out. This is all done. This is back in place. This does not have a, some of them have a wear ring. This one doesn't. It actually fits inside here on the wear ring. So that's the old gasket. This is the new, it's nice and round. We're gonna stick this back up in here, little O-ring gasket. And we're gonna stick this back on, just like that right there. And just remember, you got nuts that are loose on the back of this thing, so if you stick this through real fast, you can actually push them out.
there, here, and right here. So now I'm going to take my drill, and I'm not going to go real hard. In fact, I'm going to go real easy. I'm even going to turn my drill down to about three or four or five where it doesn't jam it. I just want to snug it up and go to the other side, snug that one up. Go here, snug this one up. Go up here and snug this one. Now, and what I'm doing on my drill is I'm allowing it to, to ratchet, basically. It'll get to a certain tor tor torque and stop. And that's what I want it to do, and that's what it does. So now the pump is good to go. We're going to put the back back on. So friends, we offer Stay Right Pump Parts on our website. Click the banner above this video and go to the website and purchase away. I don't know much, but I do know hot tubs. I'm the spa guy. Bye today.